is Michelle with Pink and Main, and today we're taking our stamps off the page and making some jewelry. Today I'm going to show you how I made this ring. I really love it. I think it's really cool. And it's, it's got butterflies and it's pink. That's my favorite things. So let's get started. I want to show you what I used. The rings I got and they have these little um, acrylic or I'm not sure if they're other oh, glass it says they're glass these glass rounds that go on the ring and this is by craft fantastic and you can find these and a lot more at craftfantastic.com I met them at a, a stamp show that I did and I had a lot of fun with these products so let me show you the first thing I did is inside the ring, I put, they sell um, like a glue dot, a super strong glue dot that goes right down inside the ring there. And I haven't peeled the top layer of it off yet because I want to wait till I'm ready to put my image in. And you can put any kind of image inside here, but I thought it would be fun to do a stamped one. The first thing I did, I didn't have a a hole punch or want to take the time to figure out the size and cut on my machine I thought it would just be quick for me to um, trace this little glass round with a pencil and on the other side of the paper I colored with my marker where the circle would be and on this one I tried to get a little bit of an ombre effect I didn't use watercolor paper so I couldn't blend these markers very well but I thought just the effect of going over part of it with a, the marker again it gets a little darker so I have like a two-tone effect there and then on this this blue thing here I used my Versafine it's a pigment onyx black pigment ink and the stamp set I used is Inspire and this is the one with all the butterflies flying together and you only need just a small portion up here at the top that's why it didn't matter if it hung off my block. So I just stamped part of those butterflies there. And once I let that ink dry, I need to let it dry a few minutes. It's a pigment ink. If you touch it right away, it'll smear. But it just takes a few minutes. Then I just flipped it over and I cut the circle out with my scissors. Once I have my circle cut out with the butterfly stamped on it, I can peel away the top layer, protective layer, on my glue dot. Kind of carefully. You can get tweezers to help you if you like. Comes off pretty easy. And I'm just going to place the paper down in the ring. And I'm going to press it in really good. And then it looks like that. Okay, Craft Fantastic sells a clear adhesive that they have special formulated for their jewelry, but I, I didn't get that. So what I'm using, and it works just as well, I think, I'm using liquid glass. This is by Close to My Heart, but it's just like glossy accents or crystal lacquer. Um, it's just a super clear adhesive it, you could even make you know like um, clear glossy effects on top of things with it but it's also a really good adhesive so I just put a dot in the center there and I'm just gonna press gently so that it spreads out completely underneath the glass round that goes on the top of the ring and there you have it a beautiful butterfly stamped ring. I just think it's so cool. It's so much fun to make stuff yourself. Click the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos and would like to see more. And until we see you next time, keep living the creative life. I think someone's had a rough day at the Pink and Main office. <laughs>